starting the morning off with some ice cold water. And to top it off, this is pineapple juice. Oh man, that's strong. This whole, both of these plates are completely demolished, but our stomachs are completely full. So I think it's a fair trade off. These pigeons don't give a damn out here, too. Look at them flying rats just going away at it, leftovers. These pigeons really don't give a damn, people. Okay guys, so look at this directory, man. Look at all these stores here. I think this one is like the bougie floor. The bougie, the bougie floor. floor. Okay, so what floor, what are we? Street level? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make us? <laughs> We're hood level. Hood level? <laughs> I've, I don't shop here at Zara. St. Laurent, nah, it's too rich for my blood. I don't know, I don't know where we're gonna go exactly. Up? All right, I guess we're going up. So we are at Target, shoe shopping apparently, and she's mad because she can't find anything in her size. She can only find sizes too big or sizes too small. So, uh, sounds like you're gonna grab those. I just need a narrow. I'm telling you, they look like they fit you even though they're like two sizes bigger. I'm just saying. how dope these watches are guys it sucks because I'm not really a watch person but you and I could appreciate this man so sick so sick so sick so you know 
I've been trying to find a katsu, a place that sells katsu. I got some yesterday, last night, at one of the ABC stores. They had, like, a little deli in there. I didn't like it because they had, like, curry. I don't really eat curry with my katsu. I like the katsu sauce, like the sweet, sweet sour sauce. And um, it didn't really fulfill my katsu craving. This right here is doing that right now. <laughs> so, pretty good. Right, cool. What's up guys so it is day four that we've been here it is wednesday and it's already starting to rain today we are actually going to be going to the uh, swap meet which is like a big event that happens i think three times a week in hawaii and it is pouring so we should probably go get dry real quick yeah guys look this is probably the hardest it's rained since we've been here in hawaii it's not bad but obviously <laughs> I'm wearing shorts, man. I'm like decked out for the summertime and it's pouring. So it's windy, it's pouring, palm trees are blowing, plants are blowing. And uh, I guess this rain is gonna last for like 16 minutes. So had to get some shade cause I'm wearing like shorts and suede shoes. Not good, not good. But yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. So we are walking now here to the swap meet and this is at Aloha Stadium guys and this stadium has a lot of rich history for the state of Hawaii. Um, I think it's the biggest stadium uh, in the state of Hawaii and a lot of history happens here. Uh, the Hawaii Rainbows, which is the jersey I'm wearing today are actually, uh, they played here for a long time and a lot of the Pro Bowls for the NFL were hosted here as well. Which reminds me, I messed up because I have a bunch of Pro Bowl jerseys and I didn't even bring one. I didn't even think about bringing one. That just goes to show how unprepared I was for this trip. <laughs> but yeah, this is a beautiful stadium. Look at it, just outside here, very lush. <laughs> Probably gonna get some food here because we're starting to get a little hungry, so we're gonna go in the food area of the swap meet right ahead. So let's see what we find. Alright, guys, so 
was able to grab some stuff here and we got some pretty good dishes here. I ordered uh, lemongrass fried chicken with some rice and the missus ordered, uh, looks like tater tots with Asian tots with smoked meat and cheese. Give you guys a quick review on this. Tater tots are good. That's good stuff. Chicken. Mm. That's good, guys. So good. Texture is good. I'm just melting your mouth. This chicken is very good, guys. It reminds me of a recipe that my grandma used to make. It's just really the friedness, the crunchiness is good. This is how I like my rice. It is really good. I don't really drink soda, guys, but today is one of those days because it's hot. And sometimes you just want to top it off with some something nice and uh, that has like a lot of uh, what's the word? Carbonated. Carbonated. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we pretty much finished the swap meet here at Aloha Stadium, but um, we're out here in the front and it looks really cool. As you could see, you could just see the overall stadium and how beautiful it looks, man. A lot of history here, especially for football. Uh, Hawaii Rainbows played here for a long time, I believe up until 2020. And then of course you have the Pro Bowl, which this stadium hosted the Pro Bowl a lot for many many years i don't know off the top of my head i can't remember right now but um yeah man this is just really historical this was always one of my dreams to come out here i wish i could have gone in the stadium but there's no event today so i don't think you can go in here and there is a lot of security patrolling the area as they should be but um just to be in front of this historical stadium here in hawaii is just simply amazing so it's really cool and uh Super glad to be a part of this here. Just to be here on the same grounds as the stadium is very cool. Uh, I could check this off the bucket list. If you're ever out in the area, guys, please, 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 please make sure <laughs> you bring like an umbrella or one of those like island hats, straw hats. I didn't, I messed up. And uh, <laughs> luckily I have sunblock, so I am somewhat protected from the heat out here, but it's very humid out here, guys. And it is November 9th, 2022. So that's like pretty much fall slash upcoming winter and it's this hot out here so do yourself a favor guys make sure you bring sunblock make sure you bring like an umbrella or something to cover your your head from this heat out here because it is very warm guys all right guys evening time here we are what is it today is wednesday 
So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is day four uh, evening. Me and the wife are about to get some dinner at this one spot. Um, so I just wanted to share my outfit real quick. Bought this nice little Hawaiian hibiscus shirt here at a local shop. Did not get this here though. I got this uh, back at home, but this is the brand information. And it is pretty much a Hawaiian brand as well. So I figured I'd bring it with me on the road. And uh, yeah, man, could get some good food tonight. What's up, guys? I don't know if you can hear me, but there's a lot of people here at this restaurant on South Street. And uh, it was recommended to us by uh, two people, family and friends. And uh, <laughs> we just ordered our food, and then the waiter was like, that's a lot of food. It's so two we, pounds of plate. He said it's about two pounds of plate. And we were like, we ordered two, three entrees, actually. And it's like what we usually do. Like, we usually order, like, one rice. And then yeah. we both ordered well, we, like a dish. We did it that one time though when we were at Coons. We ordered rice, noodles, and then two entrees. Because we ordered our own and then you you got the curry chicken. Four dishes? Yeah, I and I was so full. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it sounds like this is gonna be one of those nights where we're gonna be taking some stuff home or back to the hotel. Um, and yeah, we got the uh, I ordered a side of mac salad, potato salad, because I've been craving I have day four and I have not had any mac salad. What kind of travesty is that, right? So that ends today. Uh, I had katsu already, which I was really excited to have. And now we have basically the mac salad checked off the list. So I think I pretty much had almost everything I wanted to here. She had poke, which is something that she wanted to have. And that's a massive cup of coke. How big that thing is. <laughs> but yeah, we're waiting for our food right now, and I I hear a lot of hype about this place. They're actually filming like a Japanese television show is filming here, so they have like the ring light and all the professional setup. And I'm here in this little booth in the corner in the dark with no lights, bad lighting whatsoever. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me because I know uh, I'm taking this, I'm shooting this right now with no you know editing or whatever. I'm just doing this running gun right now. So uh, when our food gets here, I will show you what the portion size is and how they taste and what they look like and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in just a few. All right, guys, here is our food. Side Street fried rice, signature fried rice. My side of potato mac salad. And moving on to the main course right here, which is the garlic chicken. Oh, just looks so good, guys. So freaking good. Obviously, we're not going to finish this all in one sitting. It's impossible. There's no way that both my wife and I can do this. But we are going to be taking this back, and we are going to be eating this. And I'm going to start off with trying the mac salad right here. So I've been craving mac since we've been here on the island. This is really good. I was never a fan of it when I was a kid, but as I got older, I started to try more of the Mac solids from different places. It started to really grow on me. I just love it because it's got like this really, it's cold, but it's got like a really nice, like sweet and savory taste to it. I'm gonna give this one a solid five. Next, we are gonna try some of the fried rice here. Yeah, this is definitely like two pounds, guys. Why don't we try this? That is good fried rice. It's really good. I love how they have the peas in here. It's very fresh. It tastes really good. I'm gonna give that a solid five. All right, and the last thing that we ordered, guys, garlic chicken. I'm gonna try this right here. Mm. I love how you could taste the garlic with that crunchy breading of the chicken that they use. And it's just really sweet, it's very sweet, but not too sweet to the point where 
takes away from the actual chicken. So this whole thing right here, I approve, guys. I give everything here a five out of five. So I highly recommend going here. Portion sizes are great. Food tastes delicious. And they actually serve you really quickly. We had to wait for about almost an hour, but it was well worth it, I think. No, it wasn't an hour? Yes. It was like probably like maybe 30, 45 minutes, I'd say. And um, it's a very poppin' area. There's a lot of people that come in. There is a two hour limit, so obviously it's not gonna take us two hours to eat all this stuff, but you know, for what it's worth, I think it's worth it. So definitely check out the side street spot here. Honolulu if you get the chance to do so. Okay guys, and here is the side street signature peanut butter crunch. Looks really great. This is the way to end the night here. Okay, so you're looking like you just discovered something serious and that's like life changing. What, what What's the verdict here? So good. Okay, well, I will take a bite. I guess I have some si a little side of the stomach to take this down. Where should I start? You gotta get a little of everything. A little bit of everything, okay. So I'm gonna start with the top layer. Oh, you gotta get like the brownie. So. Guys, if you come here, save room for dessert. Save room for dessert, exactly. She stole the words right out of my mouth. This is really good. Five out of five for me, guys. What do you, what do you think? It's hella good. This thing is like, yeah. and I'm telling people, like, yo, you gotta save room for this. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. the best. Yeah, so, the top, so the lady who makes it, it's like, a, it's like your secret recipe. Oh, wow. So no one, like, I mean, we all know what it is, but we don't tell people what it is. Yeah. And, like, everybody likes to guess, like, oh, it's a cornflakes. No. Is it, like, rice oh. cookies? No. It's like, so, like, out of like the seven years I worked, only one person got it right on what it really is. Uh, but it's one of those French, really weird, like you never would have thought of it kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know how much weight I've gained since I've been here, guys, but it's all worth it because this food that we've had here has just been life changing, guys. Life changing. Alright guys, we are walking now, uh, trying to get to an Uber, but this is like all open street area here, so I'm trying to get a, in an area where the driver can park in safely without having to like stop in the middle of the road, so honestly, I'm so tired, I'm so full, so this will probably be for the best to kind of walk and burn some calories off <laughs> as we get to a closer location and safer.